So there is going to be an update coming up here pretty soon, and we're talking like the 23rd is when things are going to start changing. But here are a couple of things off the bat you're going to need to know. Like the sports center, you're basically the event is going to revolve around these four characters, and your support for said four characters is going to then influence basically an event where we'll have an opportunity to basically get the scissors as well as um, kind of the back accessory. If you want my two cents, the artifact is good. The back, like the wings, I'm not as big of a fan, but some people might find them useful. The main thing is there will be some changes that are kind of important to know, which I would say like. The main thing being that in the mine, you'll finally now be able to use both your TNTs and your DN uh, your drills in auto mining. So if you've been auto mining, just know that that is in fact a feature that's coming along the way. There's also going to be some tweaks uh, to like the and, and I don't know whether those tweaks are going to be good or bad or what have you, but I believe there are tweaks coming in, in the direction down here as well as far as the actual percentages. So we'll have to kind of wait and see how that plays out. Um, and of course, you know, during the event, um, you can get this PAL, AKA the Hellflame Feather, which I've got mine up to 29, but the main thing is, is it makes basic attacks deal extra damage equal to 0.5% of the target's current HP. So, for example, like if I just took this out, and again, I just like to play with it from time to time. So like if I throw this on, and uh, kick on this. I have a pretty good idea that I was doing like 300 earlier, so yeah, taking that off was obviously like a deterrent to some degree, but it's higher than what it was yesterday. So, well, the main thing with that pal is it, it gives you a little bit of a basic attack increase, which obviously, you know, for those of you out there that are kind of building up to certain types of builds, you might find that useful, and you may not. Um, other than that, I mean, of course, we had Cross Server Showdown over the weekend. And one thing that I would like to kind of point out is that for those of you out there that have been picking up souls and stuff, um, you can either get the 100 Slashes Shard or the Crimson Moonfall Shards. I'm of the opinion that I'm going to get Crimson Moonfall, and here's why. I've been thinking, you know, one of the things that you can leverage with the magic carpet is it, it basically casts another scale randomly every time, right? Now, one thing that I got to thinking about was, you know, one of the nice things about Crimson Moonfall is, is that every cast increases the damage by 50%, stacking up to three times. So, considering that you could potentially have a fairly substantial damage bonus from the actual skill itself, it's like, okay, that's actually probably noteworthy enough that we probably ought to pay attention to it. Obviously, I do have the Worldly Snare, you know, and that, that has its benefit, but there's a lot of skills that, like Crimson Moonfall, for example, that you may find pretty useful. Now, don't get me wrong, 100 Slashes is good for being able to tank, you know, depending on what you're doing in the game, it may be even more beneficial to, say, get Star Ray, you know, but I just wanted to point that out because I'm the one thing I haven't seen a lot of is actually PAL-based builds. You know, we've got a lot of people now that are starting to play with evasion and stun and kind of coming up with creative ways to make these a little bit more interesting. Um, but one thing that I thought would be kind of fun to try is actually what happens if I just bring up my PAL damage to some stupid high rate and make my PALs incredibly lethal. I haven't seen a lot of builds that kind of prioritize PALs, and so I may be trying that out in the next uh, videos. Just try to get a build. Now, I'm not quite there, but I'm getting closer to where I can just do a quick upgrade and I can basically grab these one skills so that we can kind of play around with them and see what can we actually achieve. Like, what's going to give us the best bang for a buck for different types of skills. Like, for example, Temporal Compression, where each skill cast increases your attack up by 2%, up to 30, which, you know, going back to the successful casts and being able to spam magic carpet, I wonder if temporal compression could be really useful in that, you know, in that, you know, and then obviously there is stun up by 15% in the Sork tree. Plus, if you go down like the Fury tree, for example, um, there's also some other alternatives like Ascension, which looks pretty interesting, or even Rampage, which benefits as you lose health. You know, and I, I don't know. I, I was kind of looking at these and I was thinking, you know, there could be an, a way where you could maybe make this work in a way that uh, might be interesting, you know, in terms of what you can do in the build. 
Now, like, obviously, when I talk, like, you know, upgrading PAL damage and stuff like that, I, I point that out because I got Fury Scale and I got my PAL damage instead of Global. And I was like, oh, well, okay, that's not, like, the worst thing in the world. The Pink Soul, at least, you know, so I've got really high PAL damage. But I got to thinking, well, shoot, if a person was to go and just unlock a bunch of these and then go in here and say, like, for example, uh, you know, you go into, say, the PAL crit here, you can increase your PAL crit damage quite a bit with Guardian Star, right? And then, not only that, you can then increase your damage in Magic Box, and, you know, it's like, yeah, there's, there's like, some in here that you have to kind of pick one and go. I'd say crit rate's probably the way to do it, but then, like, here, you know, for example, uh, you could increase, like, the damage that you get with the Dragons, or you could even give yourself, like, an increase to Hydra Sprite or Snail, for example. You know, and then even in the books, even, um, there's some in here that are kind of interesting in that, like, you can improve PAL damage resistance. There's a couple of these that I'm, I'm kind of poking around with. Like, I'm wondering, hmm, I wonder if I could come up with something a little different. You know, you can use Clone Strike or... You know, going back to Crimson Moonfall, right, you could, maybe there's a direction where the Abyss Necklace could come in handy. You know, or even in here, we can play around with the different types of skills, like Disarm, Dazzled, and Smoke Bomb we could increase. You know, we could tweak these and ever so slightly come up with a whole different way of approaching the game, you know. And so, I'm just kind of floating the idea around if anybody's even really tried this. Because I don't see, I mean, there is a lot of players that are, you know, your typical combo crit rate, and then you've got your combo evasion. There's there's a lot of people that are starting to play with these different ideas to kind of get completely different ways to play that ultimately changes how you're going to play in PvP and in PvE and so on and so on. Now, like, right now it's Soul Rush, so basically what a person can do now is they can go in here and say, you know what, you got some upgrades, Okay, go ahead and upgrade, and you're going to obviously gain quite a bit for the Soul Rush. My unfortunate reality is, is while I do have 500,000 or so gems, I am too, 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 not going to be using them anytime soon. Okay, but we can go ahead and use what I have as far as these go, and we can go ahead and do some upgrades here. You may be wondering why am I upgrading Guardian Star, and it's just because of the crit resistance bonus that I gain. I'm, I want to bring that up to at least 10, and then I'll go back to working on the Bloodstained Blade. Um, but, I mean, again, it's just one of those things. I'm trying to tweak a lot of different things in a lot of different places. I'm trying to kind of bring like some of these lower level ones up just a little bit, but then really wanting to focus in on attack and then HP and try to bring these up. Now, I don't know. I might just reset my blade duo and see if maybe by doing that and resetting the eye of the abyss if i just dumped it mostly in a bloodstained blade and immortal spirit that maybe i'd find that this actually would work out a little better but i'm still kind of looking at like even in the pals department right like certain pals are kind of more beneficial depending on what you use them for like i'm still kind of tweaking these i i got debuff immunity so i've been getting that kind of incorporated and I'm trying to get an Anubis now with it. Um, and eventually, hopefully, we'll be able to unlock the one and only, uh, you know, that people have been telling me about. Uh, but I just haven't gotten it yet. It's it's one of those things that the RNG of that is just kind of the way it is. Um, oh, looks like we got another crit damage soul. Now, unfortunately, the thing about that is I don't think I can salvage it, which... Naturally, the, if for those of you out there that are wondering how you fuse a soul, you just go in here, and what you do is remove it, and then you just add, add, and then confirm fusion, and you'll re-roll your rate. So, like here, I can get pal crit rate instead of launch rate. I'll take that, you know. Like I'll I'll, I'll gladly take pal crit rate over launching because I don't really use launching, and so a higher pal crit rate's not a bad thing for me. Um, but again, you know, that's kind of re-rolling the stats, and obviously you want to try and get legendary stats in all of your pieces, and more preferably the ones that are going to help your build the most. Like in the case of plumes, it's usually combo damage. In the case of warrior classes, it's usually counter. In the case of, like, your uh, mages, it's, it's skill crit. But 
in essence, that's uh, that's what you guys have to look forward to. Um, there are going to be some items coming up, though, but pay attention to the 23rd.